Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Alex Pastashak, a urologist from the United States who specializes in sexual medicine. I'm here today on behalf of the Sexual Medicine Society of North America to teach you about sexual topics you've always wanted to learn about but didn't know how to ask. Today, we're going to be talking about ejaculatory control devices. This is an example of an ejaculatory control device. The penis is inserted into the device, which is a realistic anatomic replica of a vagina. The device heats the body temperature and vibrates for increased stimulation. Men can manually hold the device or buy the optional wall mount for a hands-free experience. There's an inner sleeve that you can remove for cleaning, and it's recommended that you clean the device after every use. So this type of device can be used by any man who wants to gain better control of when he orgasms or climaxes. However, men with premature ejaculation, or those who have little control over when they climax and often orgasm within one to two minutes of stimulation, are the ones who may see the most benefit. <clears throat> so these types of devices have been around for decades. Although relatively little published scientific data exists on outcomes with them. One study, however, evaluating this particular device showed that men with premature ejaculation, which is defined as a latency time of less than two minutes, who use the device for eight weeks in combination with behavioral psychological therapy, had an average of over four times an increase in their latency time. So that means that their latency time went from two minutes to eight minutes. So while it's not clear how the device improved outcomes, with some hypothesizing that the increase in frequency of stimulation and ejaculation may have led to longer times rather than a specific feature of the device itself, it's also important to state that these devices are currently only intended for sexual pleasure and are not indicated to treat premature ejaculation or any other sexual dysfunction. So using them in this manner would be outside of their intended use. However, this preliminary study shows that there may be promise in using therapies like this to help men suffering from different sexual dysfunctions, such as premature ejaculation, which is fairly common. That's it for today. Check out the rest of the videos on sexual health topics. SMSNA is here to help you get better sexual education and improve your sex life.